So now I'm going to freeze the scan so we can examine some of the features in detail. All right, so, so this represents mirror position as it scans across. At this point, the mirror starts reversing direction. So if we look at our, our picture down here, we can see these repeating sets of peaks. And at the point where it turns around and starts going backwards, uh, the pattern repeats just with the mirror going the other way. So this peak is exactly the same peak as this peak, just with the mirror reversing direction. Same thing is going on over here. This, these two peaks are just mirror images of these two peaks as the mirror scans across. So the, the part we're interested in is just the point between here and here. That gives us the, a unique set of, set of peaks corresponding to resonances as the mirror scans al across, scans along. So the periodicity of, of this pattern is called what's called this, the free spectral range. And you can calculate that just from knowing the spacing of the mirror is at 38.6 millimeters. So now we can calculate, we can calibrate our, the, the horizontal scale on the, on, the, uh, on the oscilloscope if we know the frequency spacing between, say, this peak and where it repeats over here. That's the free spectral range. That gives us a, a calibration scale for our, our, our oscilloscope in terms of frequency per unit time across the, the scan. So now I've, I've zoomed in on that trace and I've, I've set two cursors on the same peak, just one free spectral range apart. All right, cursor one, cursor two, and the important number is here, this delta, the change between, the difference between delta, uh, cursor one and cursor two, 26.8 milliseconds. All right, so in 26.8 milliseconds, the mirror scans along and travels the equivalent of one and our frequency scan travel is, is, is changes by one free spectral range, which you can calculate. So that 28.6 milliseconds is uh, corresponds to one free spectral range, and there's our calibration. Now let's look in detail at, at one, one scan of the resonant modes of, of our particular laser. It looks like the laser's actually putting out four or five different frequencies and then the scan repeats again. So these four peaks correspond to four different frequencies the laser is putting out. So we can measure that spacing. I can move the cursor over here and center that. And I find our the spacing is 5.6 milliseconds. I've expanded the scale a little bit. The laser temperature has changed a little and Looks like now it's oscillating with five different peaks. Now we can, again, measure the spacing. I've expanded the scale a little bit. All right, we're back to our four mode Os oscillations again. Do a couple more measurements.